hey my beauties welcome back to my channel so today i'm just showing you how i put in my clippings and how i moisturize my hair and my scalp um i'm pretty silly in this video so just stay tuned and enjoy the video i don't really talk i don't talk at all in this video i also i'm showing you my tattoo it's pretty much healed Right now, I'm just blowing out my hair to prepare it for the clip-ins. Um, I show you the, the name of the clip-ins on the box. Um, I don't really know how to say the name, but this company sent these extensions to me from off of Amazon, and I really, really, really like them. It actually blended into my hair really, really nice, and... My hair is super long. I went from being bald headed to now hair almost down my back. So I'm really loving it. As you can see, I'm trying to get it as straight as possible so that I don't have to flat iron it. And the way I got my hair right now, I don't have to flat it. I just have to you know, blow it like as straight as I can. So, you know, less heat damage as possible. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the style of these clippings. So basically what I did was I just played it by ear. So, um, yeah, I'm just flat ironing it, trying to get it as straight as possible. And I'm preparing because I have to drive all the way to PA. So that what I just showed you is the the oil that I'm trying out. It's supposed to be some type of growth oil I've never seen before. I purchased it in Target. And this comb I got from a previous um, package from um, Clippings. There, there's the name of it. I hope you um, got a chance to see this came with those clips it came with you know a little card of how to do it and I don't know what else I'm waiting <laughs> okay here's the clippings I kind of combined them with the last ones that I had which was from Sassina these clip-ins that I just received, my daughter bought for me, and those were about these were about sixty-two dollars and some change. If you're a Prime member, you don't really have to pay for delivery or whatever. But this is nice. I was just re actually just trying out the half up and half down, just to see how it will look. But I ended up going another route. But it would have been cute. If I would have did the half up, half down, I'm just experimenting here. So this bottom clip that I'm about to um, put, it actually didn't work out. So I had to take it out. The bottom, bottom one, you don't really need a clip all the way. You don't need a clip all the way down there. But these clippings are so soft and silky. It's like a fresh blowout. And I didn't think it was going to match with my hair because the texture was different. I probably should have went with the, um, the Yaki straight, the Yaki perm or whatever you call it. Not the kinky, but the Yaki straight because it probably would have blended perfect. But I have a perm now in my hair, so it actually works out different for me. And this actually worked. So I'm combing out where I'm going to put the clip in. And as I said, this last this clip right here didn't last long because I had to take it out. It, it um, was too low and it was bothering me. So just be mindful. You don't have to put clip ins all the way at the bottom of your hair because it may just irritate you. Make sure that when you do them, you put like a little bit of space on the sides so that you don't have to, um, you know, worry about hiding um, the clips. Well, you have to hide them. So the best way to hide them is to leave a little bit of hair on the sides 
So don't put it all the way like from left to right. You have to leave a little bit of hair out so you can cover them. But I put them pretty close because I wanted it really full. But I didn't really need to do that because my hair is like really thick, even though I permed it. So I ended up taking um, a few out, not much, because some of them irritated me. And as we speak, I need to take out another one. But I'm showing you how I'm clipping them in. I'm showing you what sizes I'm using. Some of them didn't reach all the way, which I could have just picked up a longer clipping, but I didn't. But it's 20 inches long. It's really, really long, and it's pretty. Next time, I'll probably see if I can go with a 24 or 28 or a 28 length. But you couldn't really tell the difference between my hair and the clippings, which is perfect. Because usually you're able to tell the difference. And when I went to see my sister today, she couldn't tell the difference. So that's a plus. And I'm just using the three going across i don't really need the two anymore because the two is like literally for the bottom but it depends on if you have a big head or not like me i got a big head so um i'm already using like the three no the four i think no it's the three i'm trying to look as i'm um talking to you guys but i know i didn't do any talking in the video which i usually do so I wanted to do a voiceover so that I can actually explain to you guys what I'm doing because a lot of people don't know how to do clip-ins and they're so worth it. Back in the day, I used to take the, the tracks and glue them to my scalp, which was really bad on my hair because I used to just rip them out and I didn't really know what I was doing. But these are so convenient because... You can put your hair all the way up, like you could put a high ponytail or a low ponytail, whatever. I'm going to do another video explaining how to do that exactly. As you can see here, I'm actually trying to like feel my way of like what I'm doing because I still didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to, you know, put a style that I could wear my hair down because I always have it in a ponytail. That little one clip that I got up there came from Sassina Hair, and they sent one clip, literally one clip. I was like, where's the other one? <laughs> but, you know, because companies usually send you two and like a few more things, but that company sent me one clip, the comb that I'm using, and something else. Not quite sure. I have so much stuff to do. I'll be, I'll be trying to keep up with what I'm doing, but I have a few more reviews that I have to do for some companies. I have you nice hair, a wig that I have to review coming up, but I'm really not trying to like glue no wigs down right now because I want to give my hair some time to breathe. And as you can see right there, I'm going to need to put another clip because it didn't reach all the way. I probably didn't measure properly, but I'm still fairly new to this. And the people that wanted an update about my tattoo, it still itches. I try to keep it um, moisturized with the, the stuff that I had got. It's like Vaseline. That's what I call it. It's like Vaseline. But... That's the stuff that you're supposed to get, but I don't really know the name. I can't think of the name of it. Aquaphor. If I'm saying it correctly, that's what you use. Aquaphor when you have a fresh tattoo. I thought it was the A&D ointment because that's what I used when I got my last tattoo. But that was a while ago, so, you know, things change. But anyway... I'm getting up to the top of the clippings and I'm still just basically feeling out what I'm doing because I'm still like new to this, but I'm getting the hang of it. And as you like right now, 
I probably should have just put like maybe two more clip-ins and I would have been done because my hair is really long and I would have been able to blend that right there. I didn't need to flat iron or nothing. There's the four clips. Don't need to put it all the way to the edge because you'll tell on yourself. Everybody will know you got clip-ins and it won't look right if you put it all the way to the edge. So be mindful and leave some hair out just like you would do if you was going to do a weave, like a sew-in with a leave out. You want to leave hair out so that it could look good and cover and like won't tell all your business. Nobody knew I had clip-ins today and that was awesome. I had to move this one back a little bit because I put it too close to my edge and you don't really want to do that. So I ended up changing and putting a one clip. So yeah, there's the, the one clip and then I'm moving up a little bit and I actually put too many clips because I did not need all of that. So I came up, I, I figured out that I was going to do a side part, but I really think that I should have did a middle part, but these are so universal. You can do anything with these. You can do, um, you can go backwards and put it for like, um, a ponytail. All you have to do is put the, what you call it, a back clip going from the bottom up. And then you put the clips going backwards when you, no, backwards going up from the back and forward from the top down so that it go into a perfect ponytail, leaving out all of your edges and stuff so that, I mean, if you got edges, some people don't got edges. I just recently got edges and I'm like, I never used to like lay my edges down or none of that. That's new to me too. Put a little gel on your edges and it looks like you got edges. But anyway, I'm just basically combing, trying to figure out what I'm doing because I didn't know at that point. So right here, I could have stopped. Like, that was too much. I was doing too much. And up here, I put them too close together and... At the end of the day, they started irritating me because I put too much. I'm just combing um, them over to cover the, the clip to make sure that everything is covered. But next time I do a, a review on clippings, I'm going to try the middle part. You just have to... Different styles require like different ways to, to add them in. So... I'm going to like try to get used to it and do different styles. I'm going to try the half up, half down too. I really like the, um, the texture of these. I didn't think that my hair was going to work with these because this is Brazilian. And I really think that I should have asked for the, the Yaki straight. I wouldn't have had to blow my hair so straight, but these are really, really nice. I love them. Okay, right here, I just showed you the the edge um, gel that I'm using. This, you can find these people on the, um, Instagram. When I think of the exact name of it, I'll like chime in and let you know. But it's the coil, something like that. This thing is supposed to make your edges like stay, like no matter what. You're supposed to rub it in and it just stays. But if you see this, if I remember the name of it because I showed it and I didn't get a chance to, to speak and say specifically like where they from, but they on Instagram and it's a really well-known company and... You see how it just stays? Like, all you got to do is, like, put it. Even if you don't know how to do edges, this works. I just swoop it. I'm not even good at edges like that. But I get it together. 
I just wanted to make it look like something. So that's why I just did this. I end up fixing it. You know, like when I'm watching different YouTube videos, I'll be watching how, you know, how they swoop and or whatever. And they use the comb and they do something. Let me see if I could see it. Yeah, that. That's what they do. They do that and then they go to the other side. But I'm not really into edges, but it's nice when they do it. It looks so pretty. So, you know, I wanted to try it. So I'm getting there. I'm not perfect at it, but I'm getting there. This is almost the end of the video. I put it on um hot, like high heat at first, but I ended up switching it to cool because the heat was actually like loosening it up and I didn't want it to be loose. So I did it like you do the gosh to be. I turned it to cool and it worked out a little bit better. I ended up fixing that side too. Then I think I put more to try to seal it, but I think I was, I should have put the guys to be to make sure because my edges are really stubborn. And they still to this day, like today's the next day. So they stay, they still intact. I probably got to touch it up a little bit, but they stay with this. This is the best um, edge control so far that I had. I had got the beeswax something edge um, tamer, but that just made my hair kind of greasy. And this kind of worked a little bit better. So I was basically trying to find something that's going to actually work for my hair and lay my edges down because nothing really works for me. The guys to be works okay, but I don't like my hair hard. I like it to lay and that's it. I don't need no hard edges. Because then when you're trying to comb your hair, be pulling your edges out and I barely have any. My little bald headed edges, but they growing back because I've been putting a whole bunch of treatment. Comment down below if you want to see how I mix my um growth oils because i mix a whole bunch of stuff together and you know natural stuff and my hair actually has been growing this is why my hair is so long if you are um old school subby and you've been um watching me for a while you'll know that i shaved my hair off because i wanted to start fresh i was natural for like five years and I recently relaxed my hair with the Hawaiian Silky. You can check that video out as well. You get to see how I relaxed my hair. And I didn't even go all in. I just wanted to be able to comb it. Because my hair is natural. It's pretty curls. But once it gets dry, oh my God, my hair is, it gets like nappy and kinky. And I try to do it while it's wet because it's easier for me. But the reason why my hair is so long now is because I actually used to braid my hair and put wigs on and leave it like that. So anyway, that concludes. I love you guys.